Hey guys, today we are working the legs and this is a really great workout because you don't need any equipment and there's not gonna be any jumping. So you moms out there, I feel you. All you're gonna need is a little bit of space. A yoga mat might be nice. You could wear tennis shoes or be barefoot, up to you. But let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do 10 exercises each at one minute with a small rest in between, and then we'll move right on to the next one, very minimal rest. So if you have to take a break, do what you gotta do and jump right back in as soon as you're able to. All right, so the first one that we're going to do, you can have feet parallel if bands is an issue or feet together, we'll come into a chair pose, raise up onto the toes, stand up straight, lower the heels, chair, toes, and stand up on those balls of the toes, all right? Let's get it going. My one minute timer is set. And here we go. So chair, raise, and stand on the balls of the toes, then drop the heels. Chair, raise, and stand. Lower the heels. Chair, raise it up, and stand best you can. I know it's wobbly. Chair, toes, raise up. So we're gonna wobble sometimes. Don't beat yourself up and already, oh, I can't do it, it's too hard. It's okay, we are all gonna struggle from time to time. It happens. We have to accept where we are and be willing to move forward anyways. Over halfway on this first exercise, guys. Chair, sit low. Up on the balls of the toes. Stand up, squeeze the legs, and lower. Here you go. You're already nailing it. You're showing up. What more can you ask? Keep that breath going. Smooth and steady. Last three seconds, and there's the timer. All right, so a little rest in between. I'll demonstrate what the next movement's going to be. So we're going to come into this goddess pose. So with goddess, we have the knees bent, open up wide, toes face out, heels come in. You can have the arms up, bring them at your heart, rest them on your legs, it really doesn't matter. We're gonna lift the right toe or heel up to up toes, then the left foot, and then both. All right, so I'm gonna call it the goddess trio because we're doing all three, right, left, and both. Here we go. Oops, I set it for two minutes. Get in your goddess position, and let's go. Right foot, left foot, both, and lower. Right, left, both, whoop, and lower. Right, left, both, lower, good job. Sitting nice and low so that you feel it through the quadriceps, you feel it through the booty, and the calves really turn on as you lift those heels up. Already halfway. I'm already cultivating a lot of heat. Maybe it's the talking. I don't think so. These are tough, so be with it. And if you can't get the heels all the way up, that's all right. Be where you can. With time and consistent practice, you'll get more and more of what you're working towards. Almost there, last two. There's the timer. Woo, I'm feeling that burn already. <laughs> I don't work my legs enough. I feel like that could be one of my weaker areas. I used to be a long distance runner, marathons, half marathons. When I left running, came to yoga, I abandoned the legs. I said, no more, but I've gotta get back at it. So you may see a lot of leg exercise classes coming your way. All right, the next one is donkey kicks and squeeze. So we'll be on the hands and knees. We'll do 30 seconds per side. So kick back, squeeze in, kick back, squeeze in. And at 30 seconds, we'll switch. So get on your hands and knees, get nice and grounded, and let's go. Right foot and squeeze. Kick it up, squeeze it in. There you go. The more you drop your head in for that squeeze, the more you make it a little extra ab work too. Really squeeze at the top as you lift your foot towards the ceiling. Five more seconds on this side. Last one, let's switch, left side. Kick it up, squeeze it in. Kick it up, squeeze it in. Very nice. Maybe feeling this one a lot in the booty. And that's all right. Two 
keep grounding down into the heel of your hand. That way you're not going to put any strain in your wrist. We want this all to be about the legs here. Last two. And one. Let's stop. Those minutes are flying by, right? No big deal. All right, so for the next one, we're going to do squat and kick. So we are going to be right at the middle of our mat, maybe toes slightly facing out, maybe you like the feet parallel. Just depends on your knees and your hips. We're going to squat low, squeeze in, and kick. Squat low, and kick. And just alternating the sides for that whole minute. All right, so go ahead, stand up. If you're able to squeeze the glutes at the top, a little tricky as you're beginning to lift that leg. Maybe you can get just a second in there. All right, you ready? Let's go. Squat, squeeze, kick. Squat, squeeze, kick. There you go. Keep that breath moving, smooth and steady. So we are what we repeatedly do. So if you get yourself all worked up, hyperventilating and freaking out, I don't want that to be become your normal. So tell yourself, calm, I'm okay, this is just work, and I'm okay with that. Last 15. I don't have one of those little cold timers on my videos yet, so I'll try to remember. Oh, I'm feeling it to let you know when we are getting close to being done with each one. Last two, last one. There you go. Almost halfway, you guys. Very good. All right, I'm not sure why I sat down because the next one is standing. We're just gonna stand up. If you need the wall, you can gently touch your fingers to the wall for balance. All we are going to do is 30 seconds right leg, 30 seconds left leg, I'm gonna balance on my left and just pulse the right leg behind me. So we'll do half the time on each leg. And I'm ready if you're ready. All right, here we go. Right leg back behind you. Point the toe. You can flex the foot if you need to. Let's do it. Right leg lifts. Maybe hands on the hips. If you're using the wall, remember just gently touch it tiny bit of balance, that's all. Feel yourself being very grounded and very stable through that left leg. 10 more seconds on this side. There's the hammies. That's a switch, last one. All right, right leg down, left leg reaches. Really pushing at the top. So we're not just lackadaisically, that's the word, lifting the leg, but we're lifting with intention, squeezing, pulsing at the top, feeling very strong, very balanced. Keep your chest lifted, your pelvic floor lifted, and your breath steady. Last two, last one, and release. Woo! All right, all right, so the next one, it's really tough. It looks like it should be not too bad, but I have done this and it is a leg kicker. So in yoga, we call this posture skandasana or ninja, and we're just gonna go from side to side and I'm gonna challenge myself to not use my hands, but if you need to kind of just use the hands very, very gently on the floor just for balance, that's okay too. Work where you are. This one's gonna be tough really gonna work the hips as well. Here we go. The minute timer is set. Let's get to it. Skandasana to the right. Skandasana to the left. Staying nice and low. Really feeling something through those hips. Lengthening out the leg. Lifting the pelvic floor. Keeping the chest lifted helps you stay a little bit more balanced. So if you're feeling unbalanced, just kind of swipe the hands across the floor if you need to. 
Don't feel bad about that. You still are here and working. Your edge, don't worry about my edge. You do you. Last 10 seconds, hang in there. You are doing it. Last five. And there's the timer. Whew. Very good, you guys. You are hanging right in there. All right, the next one, not too bad, but I know we're gonna be feeling it in the calves. So we're just gonna do toe raises. Some people call them heel raises. Some people call them toe raises. I'm not sure why you call them toe raises because you raise the heel. So we're up on the toes. We're just gonna raise the heels again and again. Squeeze the legs towards each other. Really feel strong at the top, engaging the butt. Here we go, we got one minute set. And let's get it done. Here we go, timer's going. Raise and lower. Really lift at the top. I need to get my feet together here. Challenging the balance as well. So, if you're feeling unbalanced, a bit wobbly, keep the feet uh, shoulders width or hips width. No big deal. Work where you are. Really squeeze at the top, you guys. Take advantage of this. Enjoy it. Feel good. I know you're thinking, enjoy it. I don't want to enjoy it. I just want to get the work done. I promise with consistency of practice, you will yearn for this kind of stuff, for those exercises that make it burn, that you can really feel and you know are doing the job. They feel good and they drain all that extra energy, sometimes that pent up stress that we just don't need, helps us to release. Last six seconds, almost done. Back's the legs working and feeling it. There's the timer. Very good, you guys. All right, the next one. Like those donkey kicks, but this time we're going to open up to the side. So instead of kicking behind, <clears throat> we're gonna open up, right leg to the right, left leg to the left. What we wanna think about here is keeping the shin parallel to the ground. So you don't wanna let the ankle drop down. Really keep that leg engaged, either flexing the foot or pointing the toe. Doesn't matter, I'll let you know when you're halfway and we'll switch it up. Here's your one minute, on your marks, get set. Let's do it, right side, lift, lower. Really lifting to get to that point where the shin is parallel to the floor. Now it's up to you at the speed that you wanna go. Sometimes moving slower can actually be a bit harder, a bit more engaging, 10 more seconds on the right. And sometimes you wanna get in more reps and you just wanna get through it and do as much as you can. There is no wrong. Let's switch it over, last two seconds. Right side down, left side lifts. Now if you start to get that cramp through the foot, and that certainly happens, feel free to demi-point the foot or flex the foot. Do what you gotta do to get through. Because as I say, we don't stop when we're tired, we stop when we're finished, right? So I mean, if you need a break, if you have to have a break, you gotta do what you gotta do. But challenge yourself, work hard. You'll feel good about that last two, last one, there's the timer. Whew. We're getting there, guys. We got two more. This next one, we are gonna come down onto our side. I guess I'm doing the right leg first because I'm resting on my left, propped up on my elbow and forearm, and I'm just gonna draw the right knee into my shoulder as best I can, extend, lift it up straight. In and up. All right, we got 30 seconds on each side. Now, if you're not feeling nothing, you feel free to add some ankle weights to this exercise. Do it again with your ankle weights. Whew, I bet you will be feeling it in the morning. So there's always options to up level if you need that. All right, one minute is set. Let's do it. Knee in, out, up. Knee in, out, and up. Don't rest it at the bottom. This leg stays lifted the whole time. And the leg that's on the floor stays engaged. As you see, I'm really pointing that toe keeping that left leg engaged. It's not resting there like a wet noodle. Oh man, already 10 seconds left. We are going right through these. Last one on this side. Let's quickly switch. Woo, here we go, because we don't want to lose time on the left. In and up. In and up. Engage that right leg. Keep them lifted. Oop, not sure what happened there. In. And up. I was looking at what the next exercise is. 
Last 10 seconds. Maybe go over just a second or two since we had to switch sides and you don't want to shortchange yourself. It happens enough in life. You don't want to be the one that does that. All right, let's stop. We went over just a second. Whew. And the last one that we're going to do are these recline in and out. So I'm gonna rest on my forearms gently back like this. Chest lifted, shoulders up, not dumping. And then I'm just gonna draw the knees in and out, in and out. And they're just gonna hover at the bottom. Alrighty, let's do it, let's get this done. We got one more exercise and then we're gonna gently stretch it out. Good work. Timer is set, three, two, and one. Let's do it. In, out, in, and out. You can gently grip the mat a little bit with your fingers just to keep you from sliding. Hold that belly button towards the spine. You're definitely working the abs here, but you've got to be kidding yourself if this doesn't work those hip flexors and all the muscles of the legs if you're doing it right. So we're not just floppy feet. We are really pointing the toes and engaging all the muscles throughout the legs. So really think about tight muscles, strong legs. So show yourself what you want those legs to look like, strong and capable, right? Here you go, 20 seconds, keep working. In and out, belly button down and in, glutes squeeze at the bottom. Nicely done, guys. Last seven. Keep going, two, and one. Very good, release, relax it now. Now it's time to flop out those legs. Oh, maybe lay on your back, shake them a little bit. I like to shake, it really releases the muscles. They get so used to holding on and contracting that shaking, really shake it out, really helps them to loosen again. So really get a good shake to your legs here. Let those muscles just kind of flop and enjoy that sensation. This might look like work, but really it's very relaxing. So give that a try. It's a nice way to show the muscles that now is the time to soften. You don't need to hold on any longer, let go. That's when they can't let go. That's when you can get those tension, those knots, those little injuries. So show the muscles how you want them to release once you're done working them. That stretch at the end is so important. All right, let's come up to seated. Maybe a little rock and roll. Straightening out the legs. Another little shake, kind of pounding them against the ground. Always feels good. Shaking the muscles from side to side. So good. And then let's just kind of fold over the legs. So if you can't touch your ankles, it's no big deal. You could grab your shins, of your leggings doesn't really matter what matters is that you are stretching out the back sides of your legs so really press through the heels flex the toes back towards the face feel like you're sucking that low belly in that way you can take your lowest rib and dive it up and over the tops of your thighs not only stretching out your low back but the tops of the hamstrings calves all that good stuff Take a couple more resting breaths here in the seated forward fold. In yoga, we call it Paschimottanasana. Such a nice posture, so therapeutic staying here. I know sometimes stretching can be uncomfortable and we wanna rush through it, but try to resist that urge and see if you can really soften and really settle in. Nice, inhale and come up through center. Let's fold the left leg back, so kind of shifting over to the right let the left leg have kind of come back so that the left toes point to the back and not just kind of recline. So maybe this is enough of a recline. It really depends on how tight your quads are. So I'm gonna come all the way back onto my elbows. I could come all the way down onto my back, but then you really start to start back bending. And I'm not looking for a back bend right now. I'm really just looking to stretch out this quad on my left side. So really pressing that knee down, feeling a good stretch not only through the quad, but also through the hip flexor. And let's come up as you inhale, shifting to the right, release that left leg, let's do the second side. Shifting to the left now, the right toes come back. And then let's just nice and easy recline again to whatever point that you're able to. 
Stretching out the top of the right leg this time. Breathing into whatever sensations you may feel, any tension or tightness. Send your breath to those areas and really think about releasing and letting go now. And coming back up. Now you can either do this seated, like a seated wide-legged forward fold, if that feels better to you, or if you prefer to do it standing, that's nice too. So opening up the legs wide, not too crazy wide. You don't want any tension on that inner knee. And then just folding to whatever degree you can. Really think about engaging the front of the legs. That way you can open up the back. Maybe you want to rest your hands down, just breathing into this sensation, or your elbows. Just be where you need to be to feel that good stretch. Nice and easy. I'm going to come down onto my knees because that is it today, guys. You did a great leg workout. I hope you feel it in the morning in all the very best ways. If you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe to the channel, share it on your social media. That means so much to me and I really appreciate it. Like this video, come back again and again, leave me a comment, let me know if you loved it or not so much and you really would rather see something else. I really try to pay attention to those comments and get you what you're asking for. That's it for today, guys. You're amazing. Good work. Be proud of yourself. None of that negative self-talk. You did good. Have a great day, guys. Namaste.